The one thing most people on semen retention fail to realize is that NoFap is a double-edged sword. The dark side of NoFap is that it gives you intense power and energy, but it also makes you on edge, your temper gets shorter, little things annoy you more easily, and this is because of not releasing your semen, which causes your testosterone to spike. The science on this is pretty clear, and it's been well established at this point. I've felt this in myself. Out of nowhere, I just can't stand some people. Maybe I'm just weak, <laughs> like I just, like I'll just lash out at my brother or something. But I definitely feel NoFap makes you more aggressive. The power of NoFap is real, but you have to be careful. It's like owning a powerful but wild animal. If you don't control it, it will control you. NoFap makes you hungry and motivated. It gives you drive and confidence like never before. But that energy needs an outlet. Without an outlet, it turns you into an angry beast. Your mood and patience suffer. The key is channeling that power. Use it as fuel to achieve your goals and pursue your mission. Let your ambition and purpose be your outlet. Just realized I didn't even have my light on. Okay, now that looks better. If you can do that, you'll master the power instead of being mastered by it. Most people don't get this. They do know that, but they don't redirect that energy. They wonder why their tempo is so short and they feel aggressive. It's because they have no mission to focus that power. Raw power without purpose serves no man. For those with vision and discipline, NoFap provides lift-off fuel, but you must guide the rocket or it will blow up on the launch pad. The choice is always in your hands. Master your power or become its slave. NoFap makes you a king, but only you can make yourself a ruler. With your semen retained, a fierce masculine energy awakens inside you. Your testosterone surges, fueling you with assertiveness and an almost entitled demand for excellence. Here lies power, but it can also lead to downfall. Because such entitlement, if left unchecked, can poison your relationships and isolate you from the human connections that give you meaning. The wise man understands that demand for excellence must be balanced with compassion. He wields his masculinity as both a sword and a garden hoe, equally able to vanquish enemies <laughs> or to cultivate lasting love. His fire forges not just empires, but also his home. So how will you channel this energy? The choice is before you. Demand excellence, but also be compassionate. Let your inner roar shake the heavens, but have care not to deafen those who walk beside you. So unleash your masculine fire, but use it with care.